need to breathe. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pretty Nikki. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, I once want to thank you again for coming back. So guys, this is another um, episode of Growing Together and we have Mia. She is here. Um, she's with her man and they are basically in Oasis Spring and she is getting ready to kind of meet the family and because she is so tense, he decided to just bring her to the spa so that she can get her nails done, you know, and just so just so she can be relaxed and at ease and not have to stress too much. So that's what she's doing and he is... Where is he? Well, he, he's feeling sad and he needs to go give himself a pep talk. Um, he's feeling sad because, oh, so he's kind of worried because, I mean, his dad, like I told you guys, him and his dad, um, they don't have the best relationship. So he's feeling very, very sad because his dad is very strict and, you know, they don't really get along and they have very, very, his dad really has high expectation from him so he's kind of worried about like just bringing her to the family and what they're gonna think so she's doing her um pedicure and did she choose a color <laughs> and so oh there she goes let's see what she oh he found those, those toes down <laughs> she's like oh this is so relaxing this feels so good <laughs> Oh, it hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to fix some toes. And he's like, babe, you okay? No, he did not. It says it is up. It is happening. Dominic Force is so utterly um, smitten with Mia that he wants to propose to her. And I don't know if that is a good idea or if they should just wait. Because, I mean, you know what? We're just going to go along with however they feel. If he wants to propose to her, I'm going to let him do so. Um, maybe that will put him at ease. So, I guess this is a proposal. So, of course. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wow, so he just proposed out of nowhere. So, our girl is, like, engaged. So, I that would be in, that's going to be interesting to see what his family actually think or feel about all of this. So, yeah. She she might as well get a um a manicure too since that's the case. So let's ask Derek to give us a manicure also. And in the meantime, I'm gonna let him. You know, since he's here, he can come ahead and do his get a pedicure too. So let's request a pedicure from. Free for you, of course, sorry. Bombs are us. <laughs> so I need her to talk to him and she is so like, so oh, are you sure that this is what you want to do? <laughs> do you really want to get married? She was so you? Nice and so at peace with everything that's going on. Like she is engaged. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So she, oh, they can't get a, a pedicure and talk at the same time? Like, what are they going to do? Are we going to elope? Like, what do we plan on doing? We need to talk about this. Skiba, so let's uh, have a deep conversation. So and... Oh, you're impressed with me. It's not a problem. She should give him a tip. Uh, yeah, can be you, hard. Can you him? No, you can't tip him. So now she's feeling free. She's feeling very happy. Um, look at her, y'all. Right? I want to see what color. They need to ask us to choose a color. Can we get a nail scanner? We need to get a color. That's not right. Mm hmm. Okay, I guess that was it. <laughs> and so he's over here, and she is like, babe. And she's hungry. 
Uh, what? Hold on, wait a minute. Oh yeah, look who's here. Dominic Dad is here. I'm gonna let her introduce herself. She don't even know that this is his dad. But yeah, this is Dominic's dad. This is Mr. Jerry. And I'm just shocked that he is here. And so she basically just unlocks a milestone and that is what did she unlock? Oh, she unlocked the dot engaged. You see, she she is um her aspirations that she's supposed to be completed. We are like way beyond it because she wasn't even supposed to get engaged yet. But you know, they wanted to and I'm not gonna stop. And I'm gonna let her introduce herself because uh, what are they doing here? Where is his mom? I just saw her. What are they doing here? Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is Dominique's mom. This is Dominique's mother. And her name is Kara. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Y'all. <laughs> They were supposed to meet each other until later on. So she's like, hi, how are you? You know, not even realizing that, <laughs> you know, that's her man's, um, <laughs> her man's dad. And this, and then, like, well, at least she introduced herself to him and we see how he feels. So I need, um, Dominique when he's done. Hopefully his parents are still here, but he needs to talk to them because I didn't even know that they were going to just pop up here. But I'm going to let her send her grandma a text message just to let her know, like, hey, grandma, um, you know, I got engaged. So she's, she's, she's calling her. She's like, hey, grandma, guess what? Can you believe it? Like, Dominic just proposed to me, and her girl was like, girl, I'm so happy for you, baby. And she's like, please don't, no, don't, don't tell mom, okay? Stop um, it. I want her to hear from me. Please don't you tell mom. And her girl was like, okay, you know, I got you, girl. You know, I'm happy for you. Just enjoy your vacation, and I'll see you guys when you guys get back. And she said, thank you, grandma. You should see this place. It is so beautiful. I love Oasis. It is such a nice world. Oh, crap, y'all. He is sitting next to his dad. Oh, my gosh. So... Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. I know that they did not put these nails on Dominique. Do you see this? <laughs> this was supposed to be her nails. I cannot with the sounds. So, Dominique is trying to ignore his dad, and his dad is over here, and he's like, let's see. He's like, let's talk to your dad. Let's try to be friendly. Um, and let's see if we can do some small talk. He's like, hey, yes. Yes. You already know you were here. Rob Foby, Sacramento, Manta. Son of Diola. He's like, hey, boy. Um, so, where's this girl that we're supposed to be meeting? I didn't know you were going to be at the spa. He's like, yeah, you know, I just had to take her. Um, this is my girl right here. This is Mia. And he's like, this is your girl? I just I just spoke to her, you know? I, I just spoke to Mia. And Mia's like, yeah, um, I didn't know that that was your dad. <laughs> so can we give him a hug, a deep conversation, something? Bliss, um, small talk. Let's get to know him. She is like, This is your dad? Like, hi, dad. Um, nice to meet you. I didn't think I was gonna meet you this way, but I mean, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> 
He's like, yeah, what y'all, what y'all, what y'all sipping on? And she's like, um, I'm not really, I don't really want to drink. So Mia learned, um, that Dominique's dad is very ambitious, which is nice. Um, and they are supposed to be going to maybe dinner tomorrow. So, you know, they're going to keep talking. But you guys, Mia has some stuff going on. And I don't know if she is pregnant or not. On the last episode, we did take a pregnancy test and she was fine. So I don't know why she keeps getting these things over her head. Like, does she want to have a baby? Like, what's going on? But she's not pregnant. It is, you don't even have the option to, like, go and... um so let's go relax together and oh it seems like they're okay like they're getting to know each other which is good i mean He's like, babe, can we go in the sauna? Like, let's go talk. Like, I cannot believe my dad is here. And she's like, yeah, like, babe, let's just relax, you know. I don't think your dad likes you. And he's like, no, my dad likes you. Like, why would you even think that? Like, why would you think that like, your dad don't like me? Like, why would you think that my dad doesn't like you? And why is she be changing her clothes? Relax, girl. Just relax. Uh, He's like, man, I can't. I can't. She's like, well, your dad seems nice. He's like, yeah, he is. But until you get to know him, you'll see what I have to go up with. She's like, all right, babe. Stay here and relax yourself, okay? I'm out here. I'm getting a little bit hot. What did she see? Why is she scared? What did she see? Girl, you are scaring me. And she's going to come over here and she's like, man, I need all the love that I can get this weekend. There's just so much at, at, um, at, at hand. And I just want everything to go really, really great. I mean, and so she's like, God, please. Just let everything go good this weekend, you know. I don't, I let Dominique get along with his parents because I just want the best, you know. And yeah, so they're gonna head back to their hotel, and tomorrow he's going to, um, they're gonna spend majority of the day at the parents' house, and then, um, they're gonna go out to dinner, and we're gonna see how. That turns out, but hopefully it goes well. And so I'll see you guys back at the hotel. So guys, we just made it back to our hotel, and we are getting this um this little notification right here, and it's saying that Mia is eating for tea, and she's in her second trimester. And I don't know when the heck did this happen, or how in the world did I miss it, but I did. But she just, she got a little bump, y'all. Like, look at this. I don't know how I didn't see that. So what we're going to do is, um, since we are back at the hotel, and um, I'm going to have her come, and I need her to come tell her man, because something ain't right. Like, <laughs> I just, I just don't know when this happened, y'all. Like, this is crazy. I hate it when you plan something and then it just does what it wants to do. Like, they just, when in the world did that happen? Why are they going up different flights of stairs? <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. But you guys, I love this hotel. It has such a nice little view, and I found it in the gallery. A lot of these builds, I just found in the gallery. Normally, I try to build things myself, but I didn't feel like it. So, yeah.
but it is so cute. So they made it up here, and I want Mia to kind of like tell him before they go to their parents because I mean he needs to know because what if she starts showing and then mm, I don't know I don't know so you know what I'm gonna let her come and take a shower and I'm gonna have him go ahead and maybe just smoke some hookah in the meantime then I'm gonna let her come and tell him like what's really going on. Oh not her sleepy girl. She's like I'm so tired. Today has been such a long day. And so I'm gonna let her go ahead and shower really quick. And then when she's done, I'm gonna let her like give herself a little pet talk. Not her singing. <laughs> Just to like, you know, <clears throat> She needs to put on her nightgown, let's change our outfit, and put on something a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna let her wear this. And then I'm gonna have her come over here and sit with him. And they need to kind of just talk, like... Oh my gosh, I just can't believe that this is happening. <laughs> Ooh, look at his eyes. His eyes are so red. <laughs> He's like, babe, you done getting, um, you done showering? She's like, yeah. She's like, babe, I need to talk to you. I think something is really going on. And I don't want to scare you, so please don't get scared. And he's like, babe, what is it? And nothing can scare me right now. Like, what's going on? Because you seem to be, you know... A little tense, like what's really going on, and she's like nothing. But I just want to really just talk to you and kind of share something with you. And please don't be uh -huh. mad because I just found out about this. So yeah, so guys, he's over here and they are like getting ready to talk, and he's like, babe, your uh, stomach looks a little bit like what's going on? What is that? Is that a pregnancy? Or and she's mm. like, yeah, mm. but I'm. Oh, I'm afraid you can get in the world okay, like, Bethany. you're pregnant. Oh my gosh. Oh, Steve. He's oh, like, oh, oh. He's like, this is not what we planned. Like, no, but no, I'll be here too. for you and okay. I'll take care of you and I'm going to do my Smells best that I can. And she's like, really? Oh my gosh. Thank you, babe. Because, you know, I was really afraid. Yes, like, you oh, can She's like, what are your parents going to think? So let's see how he feels about this pregnancy. <gasps> oh my gosh, he says, he's sad, y'all. We're expecting. Dominique's mind was racing as he tried to process the news that was just shared with him. He had always known that having a baby was a possibility in his future, but he never imagined it happening right now. Oh my gosh, the thought of being a parent is terrifying to him. Dominique cannot help but feel a sense of dread wash over him. You guys, what the heck? Oh my gosh. This is not what we have planned. Like, this is unexpected. Like, what the heck? So... As you guys know, Dominique's dad is very strict, so I don't know how they're even going to tell him that. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to have them come and, like, just relax together because that was a lot of, that was tough. And she's like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good, babe. I really don't. He's like, oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry Got that you have to, uh, mm. Wow, he's like, baby, it's okay. It's okay. I got you. I'm here. This is not what we expected, but you know, I'm here and I, I just gotta man up and do what I need to do. And so, y'all, I'm gonna let them go ahead and they're both gonna go sleep for now. And I will see you guys in the morning. Like, this is really happening. This is really, really happening, y'all. Like, I cannot believe that she is about to be a whole mother. This is not what they planned.
So I'm gonna oh they're coming. Oh I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. They're so cute. I'm gonna let them rest, you guys. And like I said, I will see you guys in the morning when they wake up. They are adorable and I just love them so much. But I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out for me, especially when she tells her mom. And like I told you guys, her mom don't want her having no kids and nobody. Her mom just feels like she just needs to go ahead, go to the lab, get that baby put in her, and that's it. But her life is about to change completely. And this is scary, okay? <laughs> it is the morning, and Mia um, is using the restroom, and Dominique is taking a shower. And basically, Mia feels like um, she's feeling sad at this time. She says that this is good news. This is good news, right? So why does Mia's partner look so sad? Do they not want to have a baby? Mia is starting to realize that they might have very different plans in life, and the future isn't looking so bright. Ah, <sighs> guys, that is really, really sad that she feels that way, but. Honestly, Dominique is just afraid. Like, I told you, him and his dad don't have a good relationship. And so he just feels like, hey, if we're not working out, how, you know, if I can't get my relationship right with my dad, how am I going to um, become a good dad? And he just has to, like, kind of figure things out, okay? So she's using the bathroom. He needs to use the bathroom, so I need her to kind of hurry up a little bit. <laughs> and then they're going to get dressed and kind of head over to, um, and she's hungry. So he's like, babe, I know you're hungry, but we're going to go to my parents and we're going to eat there. So I'm going to let her, um, change her clothes. And so because she is, I know she met dad already, but because she is kind of meeting me, like, you know, and I don't want her to wear something that's going to like be too tight on her body. I don't want them to really see, like, her bump. So, we're going to put this dress on. And <laughs> <laughs> she's like, babe, you okay? So, she's going to wear this. And I feel like it's pretty cute. It's saying, yes, I'm, oh, now her boobs getting heavy. Like, girl. <laughs> it's not really showing, but it's showing a little bit. And then she's in her second trimester. So, they're going to have to, like, kind of get this, you know, together really, really quick. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm going to meet you guys at the parents' house, and I'll see you guys there. We made it to, um, we didn't get to make it to the house. When we went to the house, Dad was at work, so I figured, why well, just not jump to the restaurant. So, yeah, we're here, and Dominique is sitting across from his dad. I'm going to introduce you guys to everyone. But they're basically at this beautiful Indian restaurant. Once again, I found this on the gallery. And if you know their backstory, then you do know that um, Dominique is half black and half Indian. Um, that's just their heritage. That's where they come from. So, yeah, so they came to this Indian restaurant, um, minus him. I don't know why he's looking like that. But I'm going to go around the table and I'm going to introduce you guys to everyone. So, basically, this is um, Dominique's brother right here. Um, that's his older brother, and his name is Marcus Forbes, and then we have his beautiful mom here, and this is Marcus' son, this is Marcus and Megan, that's their, um, that's Megan, so that's his sister-in-law, and this is his baby sister, Mila, she's so cute, and of course, we have the head of the household, and this is Dominique's dad so dad sister-in-law his sister his niece his brother and mom and yeah and so they're um here and they're meeting um mia for the first time and mia is really nervous she just feels like she doesn't like this attention it's a lot going on and um yeah so let's just see how this goes so they're oh, here and they're waiting they already ordered uh, their food and so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
they're trying to keep it a secret that you know that they're having the baby and they don't want to tell anyone yet until they get married because that is really strict. So I'm gonna let me kind of introduce her to Met Dad. So she's gonna be like, hey, you know. She's like, yeah, you know, I really love your son. He's like a great. He's like, yeah, Oh gosh, here go Dominique with that with that mess. And so she is really, really, really hungry, y'all. Like, she is starving. And because Dominique has this, why is he feeling jealous from a jealous trait? It's not always um, reasonable, but sometimes those jealous feelings just come up to the surface. So I don't know why he's feeling jealous, but that's how he's feeling. And so he's like, Dad, you know, this is Mia. You met her earlier at the spa. But, um, yeah, I basically propose, and she's going, I'm going to marry her. He's like, hey, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm okay. And so, I'm going to have um, Mia also introduce herself to um, his brother. And so she... Oh, her grandmother is calling. No, Grandma, we'll talk to you later. So she's like, hey, it's nice to meet you. I'm Mia. And she's like, he's like, hey, you know, Dominique never bring anyone around. So it's nice to finally meet someone that Dominique is interested in. And so basically she just got a, um, a first impression on him. I don't know. Okay, so... What does she get? Why is it not popping up? Is it because they're on vacation? Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, so the first... Ooh, okay. So the first... Um, Mia's first impression is um, dislike at first sight. Um, is dislike at first sight a thing? Because Mia... Oh, Oh, gosh. Because Mia really doesn't like Marcus' overall vibes. So, she don't like him. So, let's see if she likes mom. <laughs> I mean, she has to like mom. Like, let's do a respectful introduction to mom, actually. I want her to kind of say hi to mom. Oh, their food is here guys and I want to show you what they got it looks so delicious so basically everybody kind of ordered the butter chicken and um the boys the men they had um what did they have they had the chicken I don't know how to say that so they had some skewers okay I'm, I'm gonna butcher that but yeah, so they're like, ooh, this food looks really delicious. <laughs> and so she's meeting mom. So He's like, hey, mom, yeah. this is Mia, and I just want you to meet her. You know, I really, really love her. And so she basically just got a sentiment from mom. And let's see how she feels about mom. Oh, gosh, here we go. This sim seems to rather have, um, this sim's, seem to be a rather pretentious person okay that's not bad and then let's see how she feels about megan i want her to introduce herself to megan she's like hi nice to uh, meet you y'all they're a little bit you know <laughs> this family close it close it close they're like oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. okay so she met her and let's see how she feels. Okay, so this sim seems to be a very responsible person, capable of taking care of stuff and willing to take care of others. I love that. So maybe her and Megan can be really good, good friends, like eventually. Okay, so that will be um basically her, her sister-in-law. And let's meet um, his younger sister and see how that goes. Yeah. 
Look at Madison, y'all. She's so cute. So did I. And I want her to meet Madison. Okay, so she met her and she got. Okay. Oh, sentiments. Oh, I love that. So basically, with her and um, Megan, um, they feel good about being around each other. So I love that. And and with the little one. This should do you have a sentiment from the little one? I mean, yes, I'm a turd. So they all met each other. Oh gosh, y'all. This dinner looks like it's about to oh. Like, what's going on? Oh gosh, are they arguing? Wait a minute. Oh gosh, what's wrong? She's like, babe, what's the matter? So it seemed like Dominique, oh gosh. <sighs> so Dominique is very upset, y'all. He's upset about having children nearby. He still is jealous. He's just going through a lot. Even with him, with his dad, he just have a lot of bitterness. So I'm going to have him talk to his dad. Like, they need to go for a walk they need to go talk so i'm gonna control dad for a moment let's control dad and i need him i need him to go here and i need they need to come talk because clearly they have a lot of a lot of animosity towards each other but overall he's, he's like babe i'll be right back i'm about to go talk to my dad and Mia's just sitting there like, wow, this is um, an interesting family. Like, is this what I have to look forward to? And so they're going to go talk. Blim. He's like, are you better? Did you calm down? She's like, babe, are you okay? She's, he's like, yeah, you know, I just need to go take a walk real quick. But I'm feeling much better, you know. Oh, she is so cute. Why are you worried, baby? She just looks like she has a lot on her mind. Like, what's wrong? Aww. But this is a family that she kind of signed up for. I mean, she didn't expect this, but Sign they up. are not. <laughs> I want Mia to kind of talk to mom, too. So can we end, like, the tab? Because it seems like everybody is pretty much finished. So, um, he's going to go ahead and end the time. Ooh, 548 Somalian. Y'all, mm, let's order a bottle for the table, too. So, let's order. Because, you know, he, 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 he's a dark. 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 Gosh, <laughs> she needs to talk to him. She's like, babe, are you okay? Like, what's wrong? You know, I know you and your dad are just not. Let's be affectionate. She's like, I know you and your dad don't seem to be getting along, but I feel like you did pretty good. Like, you handled yourself pretty well. And she's like, I love you. And he's like, baby, I love you too. These nails are like, irking my nerves. But it is what it is. And so he's going to go, who is he talking to? Where are his parents? Oh, I haven't, I never, I haven't got to meet the, um, why are they here? They're supposed to be in, oh, are they going home? So it seemed like everyone left, y'all. They left us. Um, that dinner didn't go as planned, but it's okay. I'm going to have the both of them. Um, it just didn't go as planned. <laughs> like, Dominique's dad is not happy and it's fine. Things happen. We are not all going to agree with everything. 
but she is just over here and she is just like man this is what I signed up for like this is this it am I going to be able to like handle this but I feel like everything went really really well I mean nobody is perfect no family is perfect but she got to meet them and we're just gonna see where that goes but I'm gonna end this episode right here you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode bye guys